to catch up on and it's not gonna make a whole lot of sense to a lot of people but uh, the 05 and Michael and some SNS guys Ryan and Andre are here at the house it is Friday at 7 or 8 o'clock 723 got about 18 hours before the dyno competition at Blake's event so we have we were at Blake's earlier Michael and all the SNS guys have been absolutely killing themselves to get the 05 done for Blake's dyno event uh, and here we are. We still got stuff to do. We still have a lot of testing to do. We've got calibration stuff to do. Um, we'll try and fill you guys in on the truck. You guys haven't seen it, uh, but Michael has just been pouring his everything into getting the 05 done. And uh, thank you, love you. I'm gonna try not to get an emotional <laughs> first thing in this video, uh, but it's just, uh, there's been a lot happening and it's taken a lot from a lot of people uh, not just Michael SNS guys uh, to get the truck even to this point. So still got some stuff to do uh, But the whole plan the whole goal the whole entire time was to have it ready for Blake's and we are still mid push of that uh, This is like kind of like a very similar UCC story of last year um, and We're just team making it I feel the same We're, we're the same way. Right yep, yep, <laughs> yep, so we're, we're we're doing everything that we possibly can to make it happen at Blake's event on the dyno. And uh, that's just kind of where we're at. So truck is home and we're gonna get to work and make it happen. That's pretty much it. Look at that beauty. <laughs> Look at that front and center. Next, you know, woo, buddy. I'm not sure if this goes to show you how much uh, relearning that I have to do, but I don't even know how to start my truck. Uh, <laughs> I, hey, it? I'd love to back it off, but I don't know how to start the thing. Wow! That is wild. This is, a, this is a real moment. Baby's back. Just don't pan down here. Just don't pan down here. Like it. <laughs> I'll blur it out. the first time that's been on. Yep. I haven't, I haven't seen that. Masterpiece. Man, just your face seeing this thing for the first time in so long. <laughs> this is a piece of work, a piece of art, like just like, this is a, this is a unit. Like, there's a lot of technology in this truck. Like, this is, this is a pickup this is a pickup truck body with like insanity like if my my like I'm speechless um, <laughs> this is my first ever diesel pickup truck when I was 18 this is
the windows go down on factory switches? Wow. Mike drop. Oh shoot, the doors are locked. <laughs> Head headlight switch is uh normal normal. Baby girl. Baby girl. Of course. Oh, you want some fog lights? Not my truck. Like this is this is insane. Like this is insane. Holy cow. <laughs> this is great. This is insane. This is insane. You're in a Tesla right now. A Tesla with 3,000 horsepower. Oh yeah. Tesla plaid who never heard of it. Yeah. Wow. That's a, that's a good reaction. It makes me <laughs> giggle. It makes me giggle. <laughs> that's so cool. I'm assuming we'll like mount it like something like right here or something. Double checking to make sure, well, we're technically just re 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 or hot retorquing the cylinder head. Because we're not sure exactly how many times we have done it before between last year and, and, and now and then the cylinder head that got put on it at some point. So we're gonna pull the valve cover, just hot retorque the head, double check it. It might not move, even move, but we're gonna, we're gonna double check and make sure. Um, so we're just getting up the operating temperature. Andre is still working on configuring uh, all the different sensors and stuff like that, making sure we're we're good to go uh, before we make a. Uh, I wouldn't even call it a full a full pass, a full rip. We're gonna start really, really low, really, really slow, and kind of make sure everything is functioning good. Um, so he's doing that. We're gonna do this. Um, we're shifting. Uh, we're we're moving. We're, we're moving and grooving.
the feeling back, boy. <laughs>
problem isn't having another intercooler. The problem is having. Oh. Yeah. What is it? Just the custom. <laughs> the vibrant. The spacers shit. for the vagins. No way. Did our other run actually make more than 2,700 because we didn't switch it? Uh, I made almost 2,800 because oh we didn't switch it. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It I actually made, made 20. It made 2,800. Oh, is that the correction? Yeah. Yeah. Because it defaults into. It defaults into a lower reading than our low dyno reads. <gasps> it defaults into SAE and they say to use standard when you put it on standard. Yo, that would have been 3K. Oh, it probably would have been a little past that. Yeah. <laughs> we got a full dyno runs with the data, supposedly, though. On the last one? That's what my laptop shows is that we had boost out to 5,500 RPM. Maybe I mean, 28. it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really like matter because it's my dyno, so my <laughs> dyno doesn't actually count for my readings, even though everywhere else we go that we make the same or more power. So me calling my dyno a low reading dyno doesn't really equate to number real numbers on the internet. That's why you run on the Superflow dyno uh, because that's the only legitimate dyno that people say you did it on i'm confident in in what we've done everywhere else that if that says 2800 we definitely made 28. dude it the whole room it was yeah. shaking the whole shot like it's scary, it's scary. It, it was like, actually oh, pretty i mean i'm actually getting dangerous i'm i'm getting actually fairly comfortable in there which is yeah well that's good fairly I mean, scary yeah. but yeah uh, but yeah. It, it is like it is like every single time like it hits top i'm just like it's gonna, I just feel like, yeah. this is where shit blows up, it's, you know? Yeah. Or doesn't, so, I mean, like I'm good. always on the. Oh, did it, did it slip the tires too? And it had to, because our PMs don't line up. Like, oh, really? This thing shows 5,000, we show 5,500. Mm. That's where your graph isn't. Oh, so I the tire's slipping be. too? <laughs> oh, no shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh. Where's, where's, uh, where's Maddie's video? Well, she, she, she yeah, got the rear yeah. tires, right? Let's see it. I mean, they're working. They didn't, they didn't quite smoke, but they're definitely working. Hmm. 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 The data man needs to find out the discrepancy. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow line was our very last pass. The white line was our highest horsepower pass. And the green line was one of our highest horsepower passes before the white line. And this is tire temperature in the rear. These are the rear drive shaft speeds and we're trying to figure out some discrepancies. And uh, we see tire temp reads 100 degrees hotter on so that pass. Uh, so the temperature rose because it spiked because it because it, it spun. spun. Yeah. No way. There we go. Why do you get Motec? Why do you have all? I mean, there you go. The last run that it made. 20, 26. 2660 and blew the intercooler up and the run stopped short. It also spun the tire. Yep. Hmm. And that's about the same, it's about the same time too, right? It all kind of happened pretty close to right there. I mean, it was probably spinning. Oh, well, I oh, guess yeah. it was spinning from here. Oh, okay. That's so cool. Well, we've made it back to Blake's event. And after the 05 went kaboom, we decided to load it on the trailer and bring it here anyway. We're gonna try and take the intercooler off the shorty and put it on the 05. Little cutting, little welding, little fitting. Should be able to get her done. Just in time to hit a number on the dyno. Let's go.
Mike gives that big pop. Oh yeah, I got the moon soon, baby. Hell yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, oh, dude. Good thing. There's one hitter, dude. Just roll up, one hitter, <laughs> one out. There's two holes in it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Three holes. All of them. Just one time. Roll it off. That's it. That's the best. Too much in the moment. It really it was. It was beautiful. It actually, yeah. Yeah, it didn't sound like it was working as Dude, the rock it. lights are so piff. So sick. I need to see what's, oh my God, man. I'm getting the chill. It's so freaking awesome. Woo! Yeah, the camera was a heater. Wow. That heater. makes long nights and no sleep. Oh my God, God, dude. That made, that made everything worth it. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, I can't even imagine how you guys feel. It's like, dude, that makes it surreal. It's like, holy crap, dude. Like, dude, it's crazy. I'm just like, oh, man, I had a moment. I had a moment earlier this week where, you know, I listen to motivational stuff all the time, and it, it was about uh, visualization and, like, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, manifestation. Basically, manifestation. It was about manifestation. It was, like, literally your brain and your you, you believing that something can actually happen is the key to everything. And Michael, Michael called me right after that, and I was like, dude, we're winning this dino competition. We are winning. Because, like, I like, I don't know. Long nights. Stuff happens. It's just like, gotta work hard. I was like, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen. Hey, man, we fucking beat it. All right, my friends.
friends, well, we are back in the shop after one of the most crazy, insane last four days. It has been a blur. I'm still speechless, but we're here back in the shop after the 05. I want to recap a lot of different things really quickly uh, just to kind of fill you guys in on the full story because a lot of stuff just didn't get... We, we, it was a mad dash. It was a mad dash. And honestly, without Michael and the guys over at SNS, none of this would have ever been possible. So huge thank you. Huge credit goes to a lot of people uh, involved in this project, but the push for the MoTeC make makeover really uh all credit going to, to, to my man Michael here uh, and uh, specifically uh, Ryan and Andre here were with us for I mean what three days I mean so time frame wise we tried to time frame the video that you guys watched uh, very specifically but realistically the truck didn't even fire up until Thursday Thursday well Friday morning. Friday, it was like Friday at like 2 a.m. So Friday at 2 a.m. until Saturday at 7 o'clock was the, is the small amount of window that all of this happened. So the truck fired up. There was a lot of bugs to work through on the SNS and the MoTeC side that Michael handled while we were running all across the country trying to get everything else wrapped up uh, besides the 05 and the MoTeC. And we, we drove the dually up and the trailer up and turned and burned back. So Michael had a truck to bring the 05 home on and that's kind of where you guys got queued in at so uh andre and ryan followed michael back from when the truck fired up and got on the trailer um and got back here friday at seven friday evening yes. friday um, evening yes. so up until that point there was a 911 emergency with wastegates we needed new wastegates uh we had some wastegate issues uh dennis from firepunk i kind of like working with levon while we were at blake's uh we we stole some wastegates from the guys at firepunk dennis drove them five hours one way to meet us here all at the same time so once we got to the shop we needed a hot retorque to head we had wastegates to fix um Tires to change, like suspension and to do. All untested. The truck had only fired up at that point. So realistically, we had a truck that fired up and some calibrations of work had started to be done, but by all means, nowhere near ready to make any sort of power number at all. Realistically, brand new trans from Logan built. Uh, so many brand new things. I'm not going to say it's a completely brand new build, but I would say... It's pretty good. I mean, it was a fresh, fresh lots of everything to work through and figure out. And that's not even including all the stuff that Michael worked through at SNS uh, by himself that we don't even, we don't even, you guys don't even know, there's a lot. So what happened with us was just enough already. So worked through the wastegates, uh, started making some power. We ended up having a CP3 gear nut slip on there. Oh, I forgot about, we took the radiator out because the radiator started leaking. So we had to re, we had to re weld that. Still haven't made any power yet. Still haven't made any power. We didn't even start dynoing the truck Saturday morning at two o'clock in the morning. Like I'm shaking just talking about this. Like it's, it's, it's truly insane. So from Saturday at 2 a.m. we started making dyno pulls. Um, we slipped the CP3 gear, uh, got that taken care of, got that fixed, got the wastegates fixed. Um, and then our last pull working our way up to making a whole bunch of power is when the intercooler blew apart on us. And at that point, we were really, really concerned about how to make this picture happen because there's not spare intercoolers laying around here. The ends that are attached to all the turbo piping and all the intake manifold stuff are really special. They uh, have been fabricated. They're not a generic go take something out and bolt it in by any means. So um, there was definitely some some time there that we were like, we were, we were, we were, out of out of sleep energy and just a way to make this happen and we finally kind of came up with the fact of just like we're not going to find an intercooler around here there's one sitting in the shorty which is the on three that is sitting right here so the mishimoto one exited the chat completely obviously you guys saw that we stuffed the truck in the trailer and all of the fabrication and welding supplies needed <laughs> to take the intercooler out of the shorty and luckily Blake was 
awesome enough to let us kind of like ruin his award ceremony with TIG welding and grinding in the background of his shop. And Cody and Elmer were awesome enough to let us run the truck a little bit later and make the time for us. So uh, we cut the end tanks or cut the intercooler pipes off the shorty, we re welded the stuff from the other intercooler. Um, and we finally got the truck back together. I ended up hot retorquing the head one more time while we were in the parking lot there, just kind of checking up on everything. We were out of the fuel that we were using. Uh, <laughs> like the list goes on and on and on of why that should, this is like, we worked for a week straight. Nobody slept and we finally got it back together around seven or eight o'clock Saturday night. And we loaded up the tune with all the data that we had gotten from what are probably six or seven, maybe eight passes. It was a total of 11, but there was some faulty runs in the beginning trying to learn some things. So there, mm -hmm. was, there was 11 passes or attempts. And then there was like, like, what did you say? Seven or eight, like actual, we made horsepower. Yeah, because I mean, there's a 2200. I mean, there was probably only four pulls above like 2000. Yeah, the first pull was zero horsepower. That's just where we were at. Yeah. Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to remember all this stuff. And like, luckily the video is kind of like coming a few days after the fact, because we're finally starting to regain consciousness of like what actually just happened. So, um, we rolled up on the dyno, felt prepared again, the MoTeC just doing everything that we have talked it up to do, giving us so much information in such a very short amount of time that we went from a fresh build to literally 3,000 horsepower. And again, we're making it look way too easy. Uh, and <laughs> like, it's, 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 almost, it's almost like you go buy that off the grocery store, yeah. you know, and, and go pick it up. Uh, the last thing I would say was it, it was easy. Yeah, I, did, did I say it was easy? <laughs> and we're, making it, we're making it look easy is what I, so uh, rolled up on there. I didn't ask what kind of tune up was in it. Um, and we did what we had been practicing, and the truck just ate it up. Did it exactly what it was uh, told to do? It couldn't have went any more perfect at the end after all of the insanely big hurdles that we had to go through to get it to Blake's. But, like, we, we set a date. We set a time. Michael has been killing himself on this truck for months, for months and uh, it just came together through a lot of battle, a lot of struggle, um, but absolutely insane ending for Blake's event. We ended up winning. We ended up, is it, I think the trophy's in the passenger seat. Is it? Go get, the, go, get the, go get the trophy in the passenger seat. The, the, trophy, the trophy is just the coolest thing ever, but um, guys, uh, it takes... <laughs> I haven't seen it. Yeah, there it is. You haven't seen it? No. Yep. There it is. Oh my gosh. So actually, so we're back to back winners at Blake's Dino Competition. Uh, yep, right there. Yeah, that's one of the coolest. Of, like, just, uh, but guys, it takes an army, it takes a team. Um, it's not just me, it's not just Michael, uh, it is everyone that was here helping hands on, all the guys at SNS, all the guys who help us uh, on a consistent basis, the guys over at Fleece, the guys over at Freedom, Amsoil, SNS, uh, Logan with a transmission that just absolutely laid it down, 3,000 horsepower, like, um, there are so many people who help make this picture happen and I'm going to forget everybody. And again, there's guys that help in chip in emergency, uh, like Dennis running down here with wastegates, uh, you know, Cole, always on call. Cole, my brother, Andy was down here. Um, like um, Dawson, Dawson, Dawson was cutting up the intercooler. Dawson was, you know, ca yeah. cam cameraman, like put in, put in the fab work too. He's up the right Dawson. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so I, I don't want to forget anyone, but there's so many people uh, that it is just overwhelming uh, to even think about. But experience. I'm giving I'm giving my man Michael here the the lead <laughs> position of making it happen. Um, but guys, this is this is is literally the beginning, the first event of the season with the 05 with its makeover. Uh, 
stay tuned would be an understatement because if that's what it does in a 18 hour window, uh, there's gonna be some serious progression with the truck. Um, some tweaking, some changing, some learning. Um, it's never done, it's never complete, but we have got quite the beast We're sitting right here, ready to just ready to go. Ready to go. So uh, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Uh, Huge thank you to all you guys for all the support over all the years. You guys have seen this truck literally from the beginning stages to where it's at now and from here to the moon. I mean, moon to moon, moon, <laughs> moon to moon, moon, moon tune in all 2024, right? Um, but I think, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. We got some stuff to tweak, some stuff to fix. Obviously, this intercooler is, uh, is not up to the job as well. Uh, the truck is making some serious steam, some serious power, and it's gonna require a lot of learning because there's only two other people uh, that have ever made over 3,000 horsepower on a chassis dyno. So we're in a different world of learning and changes and figuring out what we're gonna do to keep progressing the truck and the sport and the industry and, and all that stuff. So thank you, love you guys. Everyone <laughs> who's had a hand and a part, uh, couldn't do it without you guys and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. That's it. Peace, <laughs> see ya. Ha 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 ha!